<laughs> no matter the time of day, you always see people offering to forage with a crew. There must be a reason for this, and it's most likely money, and I want in on it. There might be some sort of cartel price fixing going on, as almost always the price of basic fruits, like bananas, is offered at 10, and the more advanced fruits is 40. To start with, I need a ship. Let's see how much they cost. So a sloop is about 14,000 po, but it also costs 20 doubloons. And at current prices of about 3.5k per doubloon, that's an extra 70,000 worth of expenses, bringing the total cost to about 84,000 pieces of eight for a sloop. I could also get a merchant brig, that's about 180k in total, and a grand frigate is about 500k. I'm just testing the water, so a sloop it is. I have my sloop, and now it's time to forage. The entire premise is that on a deserted island, you search for goods, play the foraging puzzle game, and then the foraged goods are shipped to where they're needed. And I've managed to forage 56 limes and 16 passion fruit. Let's get these goods shipped. There's only one problem. Fruit sells for a lot more on a different archipelago. Trouble is, I can't get there as I don't have any charts to them. This might be a giant flaw in my plan. So I'll try selling them in the current archipelago and see if I still make some money. I'm at Isle of Kent, let's see how much they're willing to buy my limes and passion fruit for. One gold each. That's an insultingly low offer. I'm going to continue on elsewhere. The entire game of trading is clicking turn around whenever you see a ship that tries to engage you, which is highly interactive and fun, but on this occasion I forget to press the button. And there's a server reset coming up soon, which now makes things more dramatic, as I want to be in port when it hits. I'm going to engage them and get it over with quickly. You're probably meant to disengage, but I don't have time. That's an easy victory and I make some money off them too. And I get to Admiral Island just in time. They are only buying my lines for 5 gold each, but I think that's the most I can get without an inter archipelago chart. I'll have to accept this offer, and I later sell the passion fruit for 20 gold each. Alright, now let's see how much money we've made. So the limes they sold for a total of 280, and the passion fruit sold for a total of 320. There's also some money from an accidental pillage which I'll ignore, so the total income is 600 pieces of eight. There's also some costs, however. There's some rum supplies, which I'll estimate at about 100 pieces of eight, but there's also labor costs. With the current prices of doubloons, you're effectively paying 24 pieces of eight per hour of labor, and I've used 72 hours of labor. That means I've effectively spent 1,730 gold worth of labor. So I've got a grand total profit of minus 1,130 gold. Oh dear. A few days later and I'm back at it because I haven't learned my lesson. This time I found some pineapples and rambutan. But there's a difference this time. I have managed to locate an inter-archipelago chart. This means that I should be able to ship this fruit to a different archipelago and make bonus money. Wow, that was quick. Let's see how much money I make this time. There's 68 pineapples, which sell for 15 each, so that's 1,020 po. And I have 38 rambutan, selling for 56 pieces of eight each. That's going to be 2,128 pieces of eight. So, how did I do? Did we actually make a profit this time? Let's find out. All our fruit sold for 3,148 pieces of eight. Again, supplies were about 100 pieces of eight, and we used 106 hours of labor, which is equal to about 2,540 pieces of eight. What does all of that mean? We just made over 500 pieces of eight. Not bad for a few hours work. Actually it is. I think you're only gonna make a lot of money with foraging with pure quantity. This seems to be a really competitive market to try and break into with a lot of competition. Half the difficulty seems to be getting charts. I can't ship it to the most profitable locations without them, and they are expensive. There's also additional risks, such as monkeys looking for your bananas. The monkeys have decided to attack us because we have some fruit in the hole. If you were shipping a ton of fruit and got engaged upon, you're gonna lose quite a bit of money if you lose the fight. Get away from my bananas, you stupid monkeys. <laughs> 